Hello, right, so I'm just going to show um, something about updating the firmware in the XFM. So, um, just to check which version is in it at the moment, you hold down the track 2 button and then power it on, and it comes up and shows versions. So, this is version 2, and if you push this button here, it will switch to show the subversion. So, it's 4.3, so this is 2.0.43 in it at the moment. Um, so then I'm going to switch it off again. Okay, so I'm just going to put the XFM into update mode. So hold down the shift button and push the power button. Now it's gone into update mode. Um, now I'm going to use file open on here to, uh, sorry, to send this X file. And select the 3046 file and then open and it starts to be received here on the XFM so it starts flashing without one light it's going to build across all 16 as we'll see just going from 1 to 2 is going to take <laughs> is it ever going to do it? come on This must be the best part of a minute just to make one step. And once it steps to two, I'm going to stop recording because this is going to take a long time. It's going to take all the way out across to um, to step 16. Um, oh, there it's switched to two now. So I'm just going to leave it to it. I'll come back to it in a while. Okay, and we're back because um, it has almost completed updating. It's just switched to the 16th flashing blob here. Um, and it's probably still going to be the best part of the minute before it finishes flashing that on. Um, yeah, so there's the power supply. MIDI interface, just one more waiting for something entertaining to look at. Um, and is it going to complete? There we are. So it's saying that version 3 is available and it's version 3.46. So I'm going to say OK to that. And now it's going to program it in. all done. So now if I turn the thing off and switch it on with track 2 held uh, like that. Let's go back to version now it's showing us which version is actually programmed in and it's 3.0.46 which is what we're looking for. So that's it done.